Hi, I'm Kruno. Thanks for watching Eplan Essentials. Does your panel layout sometimes seem to gray and you would like to add some color to it? This question I received recently on my YouTube channel and I would like to talk about in this video. Alright, so maybe you are using ePlan Pro Panel to build your panel layout in 3D and as you place the components, you may get the feeling that there are a lot of gray tone niche components and uh, that you would like to add some color to it. About this topic, we will talk in today's video. Um, I will cover it in three steps. First of all, where do you set up the color information? Second, where does the information come from? And third one, where it does not work, okay? So uh, where do you set up the color information for your components? I typically recommend to do this in the macros. So we will switch now into a macro project and I will show you how this works. So for this, I'm just gonna close this sample project. We'll close the sample project and now I have a macro project open. How to create a macro I already covered in another video. It's going to be linked now. And as you can see, by default, a lot of uh, components or a lot of macros are gray. And where to set up now the color is very easy. You just double click here to jump into the properties and Typically, the part placement tab is open and you can easily switch here to format. And here you have now transparency, color, and layer information. Transparency is usually used if even uh, for enclosures to make it a little bit more transparent so you can see what's inside of the enclosures. The color is now the setting of the color which is displayed. And the third one is the layer setting. If you have inside of this color tab, this layer icon, that means it's pulling the information from the layer setting, which we'll talk about uh, shortly. And here next to it is the actual color, which is right now displayed. So if you want to just change the color for one component, you could now easily click here on this three dot buttons or double click, and then you have a set of colors available for you. This icon here is reset setting and go back to the layer setting. You have uh, two palettes of colors here which you can choose from. Additionally to it, you can set the color of the component as the background color, inverse to background or watermark. Shouldn't this amount of colors be enough for you? And you can press here the two arrows button to extend it. And then you will have to get the extended palette of colors as well as six shades of gray. In our example here, for instance, I'll just select um, reddish color here. Press OK. As you see, when selecting this, the layer icon disappeared. So now the color is not pulled anymore from the layer settings, but it's manually set up here. And if you press here, apply, then the color is changed. So this is as simple as it is to change a color for one component. But what if you would like to change colors for multiple components? Then you can do this in the layer settings. And this is the second step which I would like to talk about with you today. It's where color information comes from. It's from the layer settings. So for this, I'm just going to reset this um, selection which I just made and go back to layer settings. It's OK and apply. So now you see again the layer icon here and we see the layer name is e 562 and we will remember this for our next uh, example. So if I now want to find the layer settings, I can simply go here to the search bar and select layer, sorry, layers. This opens the layer setting. What you need to know about the layer settings Layer settings is a project setting. That means for every project, you can define your color scheme templates. ePlan has 
it categorized ready for you for graphics, simple graphics, property placement, special text, and 3D graphics. In total, ePlan has over 300 different layers already for you set up. So actually it's 343. The layers goes by layer identification name and the description, and then layer specific settings, like line type, thickness, color, font size, and other settings. Okay. Shouldn't this be enough for you? You can also create own layers for your projects. In our case, we will go to 3D graphic. And as remembered, ePlan 562 is the 3D graphic device setting. Okay. And here you can see the default color is gray. And that's also the reason why so many components are by default gray, because the default setting for ePlan project is this gray tone. Okay. So if I will go now here on this three dot button and change the color, for instance, to yellow, you see immediately this component is changed to yellow and all of the components which are pulling the information from the layer ePlan 562. So this is the second way of changing the colors from the layer settings, that means for the whole project or each component individually. It will just go here back to gray. Well, let's select this, this gray here and close the layer settings. One thing which is very important now to close this video is when does this layer coloring not work? Okay? It does not work if you would have components like this. So in this case, the step file which is it was imported and used to create the macro here was or consisted initially of multiple layers and they were united, right? So now that means if you would like to assign a color to this component, Eplan doesn't know exactly where to put the, the color. And even if it would work, it would not work correctly. Let me show you this example now. So if I would know this, what I just told you, is I will try it here by double clicking and now go here to the coloring and select for instance green. And as you see, only a part of this got now colored green. Okay, so that means if you have, if you want to use the coloring functionality in ePlan, you need to have step files which consists only of one layer. This wraps up today's ePlan Essentials video. If you find the video beneficial, please make sure to like it, subscribe to the channel and share it in your community. Also, please let me know in the comments below which other topics you would like to see soon on the Ethan Essentials channel. Until the next time, Uncle Kruno signed out.